Welcome back to Being Mom. We're here with mummy burnout expert Dr. Barnes talking about what happens when mothers become physically and mentally exhausted. Let's meet Brittany Purr and listen to her experience with mummy burnout. My name is Brittany Purr and I have a two and a half year old daughter. My husband and I have been together for eight years, including dating, and our first date went off like a rocket. <laughs> it was great. I knew Jason always wanted kids. And so I was okay with that. Since he wanted kids so much, I figured he'd be more proactive and, you know, wanting to take care of her. But the way my life is right now, I don't feel like my husband's doing his part. When he does do things, oftentimes it's not complete. And yeah, I, I am a perfectionist, so I have to take over. I'm pretty much a stay-at-home mom, even though I'm not very happy with that. And I take care of everything in this household, cleaning, doing the dishes, cooking, home repairs. I've got so much stuff to do that pretty much by the end of the day, I pass out. I am getting overwhelmed. If something's not done in this household, I can't rest until it's done. But things will never be done because I have a two even half year old running around. I also feel trapped because I'm not allowed the freedom to do what I want to do. And I want to go out and work, enjoy, hang out with my friends and stuff. I did kind of expect me to have a little more freedom. I didn't expect the constant war of self. Since I don't see myself as just stay-at-home mom, I see myself as you know someone out there taking on the world and being myself. Um, there's kind of been an identity crisis there for me. It's it's it's. Thank you for being on the show, and mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of courage to come on and and speak about this. How do you feel? You know, watching that. You know, I just feel trapped dealing with a two-year-old all the time. It's a constant, it feels like it's a constant battle. Did you have a vision of what you thought it was going to be? <clears throat> kind of figured, you know, I can be myself. I can, you know, do the things that I'm accustomed to doing, which I most often can't. I think for many moms, um, that does happen, that we expect it to be a certain way. It turns out to be very different. And there mm -hmm. really is a period of grief and mourning that we go through as we kind of experience the loss of that vision we held. It has created that identity crisis, like where I can't be myself. I can't do the same things that I wanted to do. Can I ask, did you and your husband have any kind of conversation before you had your daughter? How was it decided that you were gonna stay home um, and work inside of the home? We never really discussed that because I think that kind of hit us out of the blue. You know, I expected to at least be home for a period of time, but never really, it wasn't expected. Well, I think you're in good company because I think mm -hmm. most couples don't mm -hmm. think about talking about these things. Mm -hmm. We really do need to sit down with our partners before we have children or even when we're pregnant and say, mm -hmm. okay, how are things going to look different for us? You know, how are our roles going to change? And we were speaking earlier about sort of this judgment if I don't have it all together. And you do mm -hmm. let down the guard for vulnerability. I usually just get crushed. Like even this morning, I was in tears because I'm just like, I am tired of fighting with my daughter. If I get frustrated or stressed out, like my husband also gets frustrated and stressed out. I feel if I cannot keep up, you know, being the strong person, you know, keep up the household, keep up all this stuff, it's just an end for, you know, me getting hurt. So this sense that I have to hold it together all the time because mm -hmm. that's what good moms do. I would like yeah. to reframe though, yeah. this I'm idea ready. that if we show our feelings, mm -hmm. we're being weak. Oh, yeah. and please, I, Dr. Barnes, mm -hmm. please give women and men, let's not forget the right. father, please give us permission to say it's okay. Mm -hmm. We can love our kids and hate the job. Yeah. And there are times <laughs> oh, when well, it's never heard not, it that before, you know, uh -huh. it's interesting because when you do work inside of the home as opposed mm -hmm. to outside, uh, in the outside world, you get a lot of feedback mm -hmm. about how you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, right. you get paid, people say good job. Mothers don't get that kind of mm -hmm. feedback no, they in don't. the home. It's not valued. Right. It's expected. It's expected. It's mm -hmm. not valued. I mean, look, if we put a ticket on how much we should be making, mm -hmm. we're talking about six figures here, you of know. Of course we and, are. And I, I've said this before. Um, I believe toddlers are only doing what we still wish we could do, mm -hmm. having a tantrum. I mean, how many of us out there, audience, I mean, how many of us would like to have a tantrum and say, you know what? 
I don't feel like doing this right now. Throw yeah. ourselves on the floor and kick and right. scream. And who yeah. wouldn't want to? Do, come on, if it was accepted, who that's wouldn't want to do real. that? That's true. But you see, that's what's real. We can absolutely mm -hmm. adore our children, mm -hmm. but we can have moments, many moments, where we feel frustrated, mm -hmm. where we want to cry, where we feel like we want to go back to life uh, the way we knew it. You know, that's another myth about motherhood is mm -hmm. that you're a mom now. Yeah. So anything you knew That's about right. yourself before it's becoming gone. a mom, forget mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That's done. Mm -hmm. And nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, it's a lot to take on because you're, yeah. you're struggling with so many different roles. I mean, how, mm -hmm. how do you feel about the roles that you're taking on? Overwhelmed. Absolutely overwhelmed. Well, what I'm also hearing is that you have a tremendous amount of responsibility and very little feeling mm -hmm. of authority over your own life. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is definitely hitting the nail on the head. Yeah. And so when so. help comes to you, how, how do you manage that? Do you accept it mm -hmm. or do you fight it? I am a perfectionist, which kind of makes things hard for having people come into the household and help unless they you know, are really good at taking direction from me. How do you think it has an impact, you know, the need to kind of order mm -hmm. everything and keep things in this place on your husband? Does he back away from taking care of Solace because of that? Yeah. You need the support. We all need the support. When we come back, a plan of action you can begin today to regain your balance from burnout. Coming up on Being Mom. What can we start doing today? Couple time, self time, and we time. Mm. Implement some concrete strategies. Okay. So he gets some self care time, and for you to have time to yourself.